Well, okay, I guess we are recording. Uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to do a quick video on this uh, purported to be a Guangzhou uh, Mark and Period Dragon Bowl. You're looking at the center of it right there. The green eyes. He's amidst the, uh, the flames and he's got the pearl there. And he's got uh, five claws, which was reserved for the imperial pieces and the palace and the emperor. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a look at it. I'm going to come a little, I'm going to come closer here and uh, just give it a little spin. You can see how beautiful this uh, bowl is and the quality of the work. It's excellent. It almost feels like eggshell. Almost. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, a very similar uh, pair of these sold on Sotheby's. The pair is sold for Mark and Pierre Guangzhou Dragon Bowls like this. I don't, I don't know if they were the same exact size. They had the same kind of a border here. The dragons were uh, a different color, so they may have been green and yellow, but very similar. Sold The pair is sold for 16000 And I, I, I paid a couple of grands for this bowl. Uh, so, and there's your mark. Came from Josh Chamberlain. What's happening, Josh? So, I'm pleased with this bowl. I'm pleased with, you know, pretty much everything about it. It's a beautiful piece. Beautiful. Yeah, you can check Sotheby's for, uh, Guangzhou Mark and Period uh, Dragon Bowls, and you'll you'll find the pair that's sold for sixteen thousand. So, you got a good discount on this bowl. And uh, Guangzhou Period is eighteen seventy five to nineteen oh eight. For those of you that weren't aware, preceded by Tongzi, which was uh, like eighteen twenty five to eighteen fifty, and before him, I think it was Shen Feng or something. <clears throat> was getting beyond my knowledge base at this point to put it, the line straight back together through history. Later. 